The gentleman is recognized. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on the bleached bones of many past great nations are written those pathetic words, too late, too late. We moved too late to save them. History is cluttered with them. We are almost at that point with Ukraine. Anyone who has followed the Russian model under Putin knows full well what his aim is to reclaim that territory, that empire of the old Soviet Union. Now, if Ukraine goes, what happens to Lithuania, Estonia, Latvia? And just today in the news, we hear where Russia has threatened a nuclear response. I believe it's to Denmark. Now, now what is happening in the world? The world now is a very dark, a very dangerous, and a very evil place. And when those three things get together, there must be that shining light on the hill that shows the way out of the darkness. And throughout history, that light has been the United States of America. We must act here. Let us hope that President Obama will hear our plea as Democrats and as Republicans. We've got to help save Ukraine from Russia. I serve on the NATO Parliamentary Assembly. For 12 years I've served on NATO. I've served as the chairman of the Science and Technology Committee. Spired. I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen. Another minute. Thank you. I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, if we don't act here, there will be a devastation on the European continent, the likes that we have not seen since World War II. We don't need to repeat that. Let us rise to this occasion. Let us do the right thing. Let us be that shining light on the hill that shows the way out of this darkness. Sir, sometimes in life you've just got to stand up to the bully. The United States must stand up to Putin and let him know that there's a light in this world and the United States is going to show the way. And the best way to do that today is to pass this resolution and let's send Ukraine the military help that they need to protect themselves and the legacy of this fine country. Thank you.